Welcome to Alphabet City. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the most amazing audience in the whole world. There's plenty to know about Samsung's upcoming foldable phone. The name floating around online is the Galaxy Z Flip. That was reported by Max Weinbach over on Twitter. He says Samsung is using ultra-thin glass and plastic. The plastic will be on top of the glass as protection. If you nick the plastic, the glass is still okay. This would be a departure from what the Galaxy Fold had with that plastic display, which could be damaged easier than glass. Weinbach also says the Flip will have a modest 3300 milliamp hour battery along with a Snapdragon 855. That's the same processor as the Galaxy Note 10 and the Galaxy S10. There's even more information on the Flip. Ishan Argarwal says the Galaxy Z Flip has a 6.7 inch AMOLED display, a 10 megapixel front facing camera, and 256 gigs of storage. He also says the main camera will be 12 megapixels. This contradicts a December Bloomberg report that said Samsung would cram in a 108 megapixel camera into both the Fold clamshell and the upcoming Galaxy S11. Meanwhile, what could be a promo image of the Galaxy Z has arrived on Weibo. At first, the image looks like one device that folds in two areas. That would be a wild leap for Samsung. To me, it looks more like two clamshell devices that are lined up to form that Z shape. Would I love to be wrong about this? Yes. Will I be wrong about this? Probably not. Okay, so let's dig into the Galaxy Z Flip. We're looking at a 6.7 inch screen. We're talking about a phone that is slightly smaller than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The 10 Plus has a 6.8 inch display. With the Flip, you should be able to fold it like a little square. The Samsung unpacked invite definitely suggests that. Oh, and images from December show the little square guy. Take a look at that tiny front display with the time and what looks like a couple of notifications. When opened, it's got some medium sized bezels. The screen is also flat, not curved like the S or Note. It'll be interesting to see if the device can fold flat or will have a little gap like the Galaxy Fold had. The processor is top of the line for 2019. In theory, that would keep the price at a more reasonable level. Here's my problem with the Flip and the Moto Razr to some extent. Who are these for? I love this leap in technology, but I'm not sure it's fixing any real problems. If you want the ability to pocket your phone a little easier, the Flip or Razr makes some sense. If you want the satisfaction of hanging up on someone by closing the phone quickly, these phones are for you. Otherwise, you've got a device that has a breakable element in that hinge. I don't know if a foldable phone is worth it until there is a flexible glass to make the screen as good as non-folding phones. Guys, let me know what you're thinking about foldables. On to Comment Cove. Not so tricky Ricky tweeted at me a bunch. Here are some highlights. He says that I always profess how wonderful Samsung's phones are, but I never mentioned all the useless system apps that help to suck users into using them. Like the one that says you can, through a setting, manage the time allowed before your screen goes blank. In one place, you can set it to 10 minutes max, and another setting, 30 minutes max, but neither of them work. Ricky, you've made some good points. Why don't I mention the useless system apps? Probably because I don't use them at all. I've always been a fan of choosing my own default apps on Android. Most of Samsung's own software sit unused on my phone. I wish they were removable though. Talking about the S20, Enrique says, after happily owning an S8 since launch day, I think it's safe to say this will be my next phone. Al Rod says, how did Samsung go from the Galaxy S10's back design to this? Oh man, it's ugly. That's a pretty good question. I'm hoping the camera quality is so good we can all overlook the giant domino on the back of the S20. If you want to know more about the S20, check this out. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, comments, or news, let me know on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you online.